Welcome everybody to today's quick flight. We're going to be doing a little FS economy today. Uh, I usually need to do at least three FS economy flights a month to at least break even. I, I own three planes. One of them I just kind of rent and use every now and then because it's an uh, MSFS plane, which is the Piper uh, arrow. It's okay. I just don't like the flight model that MSFS has. It's kind of weird. Uh, so my favorite plane for FS economy, all-time favorite is the uh, Reality XP uh, for X-Planes uh, Cessna 310. So we'll be flying that today. We're going to go to my flight. We're going to go from Chino to San Diego. I already put 70 gallons in here. This is a plane that I own, so there's no hourly rate or anything. I own this one. I already put the, he already put the fuel in, so we're good there. Uh, we're going to be going from Chino to San Diego. And uh, the weather is pretty good. It's got scattered clouds. A few at 5,000. So we might have to get a pop-up IFR. We'll see. I'm going to start off VFR with flight following, and we can change it if need be. But... <clears throat> Yeah, it looks like it's actually less clouds at San Diego. That's more important. So I don't need to file an IFR or anything. I already know the fuel I need. There is some ice, but not really at the altitude we'd be flying at. It's probably higher up here. Yeah, we'll be under the icing, so we wanted to worry about that. All right, let's hop in the aircraft. the screen going to populate? Yep, there we go. Okay, sorry about that. Um, let's update our weather so everything looks correct. All right, this is our Cessna. I need to... Get FS economy going. All right, passengers are loaded. So I like to change the weights after I do that. We'll add a uh, kid back here. 23 pounds of cargo, that's good. Close that door. Battery. Don't 
dump some fuel. Clear prop two. One. Good oil pressure on both. Fuel flow. out the engine here turn on our auxiliary and avionics Garmin galore Airport. Eight is information Charlie. One eight five three Zulu. Wind calm. Visibility one zero. Five thousand five hundred scattered. Ceiling one five thousand broken. Temperature two niner. Dew point one eight. Altimeter two niner eight niner. Arriving and beginning runway two six left. Two six right. Visual approaches and use. Read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Charlie. You want? Alrighty. It's Chino. Put this on my laptop. Chino's elevation 650. My weather injector is showing 2989. As long as you're within uh, 70 feet, you're fine. So right there, Actually, it shows a right Hector. 650 for airport right elevation. For so airport. yeah, we're we're 10 away, so we're good. Yeah, elevation here is 617. 650 here. All right, so flight plan. Like to put in VP for visual point SBL over eight zero zero Delta West B contact Los Angeles center one three five point five Stephen thirty five five for zero Delta West and then Cloman. San Diego. And we'll go ahead and squawk altitude. Okay. 
So we're probably gonna set the heading bug for runway heading, so that's like 255. I believe the wind was calm. Let's Eight check. Niner, arriving and departing runway. Actually, I'll check that when we're ready to get our clearance. Okay. We're going to go up to 9,500. Set. Get our taxi light on here. All right, there's your double with you off Angela Center. Come and maintain one, one thousand. Left here. It is cloudy, but let's see if we can navigate around it. In reality, I should probably just do an IFR. I think they will actually will clear up a little bit as we get closer to San Diego. Station through Nick off from the path of 600, climbing 3000. Over through Nick off, they have a SoCal departure at our contact, climb and maintain 6000. Climb and maintain 6000 through Nick off. opening up this airport chart on my laptop. checks here. Gotta drop. Drop on one. Drop on one. Gyro suction is five. Fuel flow is fine. All temps are good. Go to idle. Make sure the engines don't quit. To a thousand, lean her back out for a moment. Flaps are up. Get her current. Hold short instructions. 
Advise on initial contact. You have information, Charlie. Chino Airport. Eight. Just information, Charlie. One eight five three Zulu. Wind calm. Visibility one zero. Five thousand five hundred scattered. Ceiling one five thousand broken. Temperature two niner. Dew point one eight. Altimeter two niner eight niner. Arriving and departing runway two six left. 26 right. Visual approaches in use. Read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Charlie. sim not showing up on my laptop Let's see if it's working on my iPad Plugins not. It's not working. Let me try to restart it. So was it Simlink? Let's so we'll close that. Quit out of Simlink. Sometimes just merely restarting it will fix this issue. Maria Tower, Skyhawk 874 Mike, Toby Short 26 at Alpha with information Kilo. Alright, now it's. 874 Mike, King Maria Tower, runway 26, clear for takeoff. Now it's working, it's just yeah, one of those off. turn it on and turn it right back off. Runway 26, clear for takeoff. 26, clear for takeoff, 74 Mike. Let's make sure it's still Charlie. 26 right, visual approaches in use. Read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Charlie. Afternoon, Chino Ground, November 1399, North GA Ramp with Charlie. Request late following San Diego, Lindbergh, intend to cruise 9500. Uh, aircraft type uh, twin Cessna 310 slant golf and also rated a taxi. 1399 at Chino Ground, runway 26 right, taxi via Alpha Papa, cross runway 21 at Alpha. I'll work on your request here in a second. 26 right via Alpha Papa, cross 21 at Alpha, and copy the rest. 1399. Alright, we're squawking uh, VFR here, so we're okay. Just has to get us our departure frequency and squat code. Frequency 135.4, squawk 4137. 
departure of SoCal 135.4, squat 4137, uh, twin system 1399. Four seven four nine count departure. Alright. Departure four seven four nine. Four one three seven. Squawking mode, Charlie. Departure is thirty five four. We'll get that set up and we're holding short. You said Alpha Papa to Papa is at the end. Two six right. Turn on our strobe since we're crossing a uh, runway. We have a slight left crosswind departure. Yankee Alpha by taxiway Alpha, ready for taxi, close traffic with Alpha. 4172 Yankee Alpha, on our ground, runway 25, taxi via Foxtrot Alpha. Runway 25 via Foxtrot Alpha to Yankee Alpha. Switched over to tower. Departure is 135.4. Gino Tower, Twin Cesta 1399, home short 26 right. Number 1399 or Gino Tower, runway 26 right, quick for takeoff. Two six right, clip for takeoff. One three nine nine. All right, so we only have to look out for the Bravo. Clear left. I think we're gonna be way below the Bravo here, so don't have to really worry about it. We're gonna be in two-way communication, so we don't have to worry about the Charlie airspace either. As long as you're already talking to someone, you can dive into a Charlie airspace without permission. Skyhawk 172 Yankee Alpha holding short of 25, uh, ready for takeoff, close traffic. 172 Yankee Alpha, Skyhawk Tower, make left, close traffic, report mid field lead fast, runway 25, cleared for takeoff. Runway 25, cleared for takeoff to Yankee Alpha. Okay, gears up. Start our sweep and left turn here. about 120 knots back off our props over 399 effect departure over 2 departure 1399 to you 
go to 135.4, SoCal. SoCal departure, twin system 1399, VFR 2000, leaving 2400. 1399, SoCal departure, radar contact. Flying her, I'm going to turn on the uh, yaw damper. Sokal approach, Skyhawk 874 Mike, design 5, 4900, climbing to 5500, request coastal route transition. Remember 874 Mike, Sokal approach, Fairbank altimeter 2986, report established in the coastal route southbound. 2986, and we'll report established on the coastal route southbound. November 3, Renegade Golf Lima, Descent of Maintain 4,000. Descent of Maintain 4,000, 3, Renegade Golf Lima. November 1, 2, 2, Sierra, come next, fly heading 0, 1, 0, Descent of Maintain 8,000. I need to... Heading 0, 1, 0, down to 8,000, to check your bag. Let me see here. November 5, 2, 2, Papa Mike, contact point, Magoo approach, 1, 2, 4, I need to let seven. my dog out, so... Um, 1, 2, 4, BRB. Point, two, Papa Mike. Approach Legacy 522, Papa Mike, 6005. Cover 522, Papa Mike, Point Magoo, Approach, Camry, Altimeter, 2986. 2986, Papa Mike. I hate walking away like that, but it was only for a couple seconds, so. Hopefully he didn't call me. I guess I'll know here in a second if he tries calling me again. Climbing pretty good. said in reality you would uh, stay below these clouds till the other side of the mountain maybe well, let me see I could probably stop at 75 should be high enough and maybe low enough below these clouds be like 500 feet below or a thousand feet below or 500 above I can't remember exactly I don't do anywhere near as much VFR traveling as I uh, should this is one of the few flights I do VFR on Bravo, I don't need Chino anymore. Remember to run off with my contact, Santa Barbara approach 120.55. 20.55, you're in a golfing box.
Santa Barbara Approach Station of Through Day, Go Home and Descending through 4200, going down to 4000. I have information to Sierra for Santa Barbara. Request the VOR approach into runway 25. Starting at Queen. Remember, through an egg off, Lima, Santa Barbara approach, cross climbing at 3000. We're going to be our 25 approach, Santa Barbara altimeter is 2987. 2987, cross climbing at 3000, clear VOR alpha, VOR, runway 25 approach, through an egg off. Remember, 122 Sierra Quebec, the center maintains 6000. Center maintains 6000, two shaky wing. Before I do that, let's do. Hogs tanks, and then we'll lean. Right about there. Now we're running off of this fuel, back off the fuel flow. Out there, back off the props to 25. Looks like my uh, crew is... SoCal 128.1 SoCal 128.1, 1399 Eight zero zero Delta Liski, contact LA Center, 125.27 So Cal departure, twin system 1399, be far be, uh, level here at 7,500. Or 1399, so Cal approach to John Wayne, altimeter 2986. 2986, 1399. All right, there's your double whiskey, LA center of the box, altimeter 2989. Direct to that. Do nav. And we have the um, San Diego Bravo Aerospace. That goes up to ten thousand. First shelf, 6,800 to 10,000. And this first waypoint is right underneath that shelf, so we'll make that first waypoint 65. So let's do flight plan. We'll make that 65. Say 1200 feet descent, top of descent, nine minutes. One position here, we got a field on that off lane. One, two, two, Sierra Quebec, quick visual approach, runway one, nine, area. So we're going to have some clouds ahead of us. Yeah, let's see if I can get my dog back inside. Quebec contact Las Vegas Tower, 118.75. All right, let's go down to. I'm sorry, uh, Tower 1875. We'll see you uh, there, Shaq. Remember, 
Contact Santa Barbara Approach 120.55. Over to Santa Barbara 12055. Gotta avoid these clouds. Approach Legacy 522, Buffalo Nice 5007, descending into Santa Barbara with Tango, full stop. River Top, CC Papa Mike, Santa Barbara Approach, Santa Barbara Roll, Twitter, 2987. 87, 2 Papa Mike. <clears throat> Looks like I can stay above them, so that's. I was going to go underneath it, but I think I'll be all right doing this. So I'm feeling if I get lower, the turbulent air would be a little bit more. Contact SoCal Approach 119.6. SoCal 119.6, Twin Testa 1399. Usually you're safe stepping away for a minute as long as you do it right after you talk to someone. SoCal Approach November 874 Mike is established on the southbound for coastal route transition. November 874, Mike, clear to the Los Angeles class travel airspace by the coastal route southbound, maintain BFR at 5,500. Clear to the Bravo, we'll maintain 5,500. November 874, Mike, contact SoCal approach 134.9er. SoCal approach 134.9er, 474, Mike. SoCal approach twin system 1399, VFR 7,500. Number 1399, SoCal approach to San Diego altimeter, 29 or 8 9 or 29 or 8 9 or 9 or 1 3 9 9 9 9 9 9 9 9 9 9 9 9 9 9 9 9 9 9 9 9 9 9 9 9 9 9 9 9 Advise on initial contact. You have information, Juliet. 109.7. 109.7. Here we go. San Diego International Liberty Field. Agent information, Juliet. 19510. Wind 250 at 11. Visibility 10. Few clouds at 1000. Few clouds at 4000. Temperature 26. 2.1 grain. Altimeter 2989. Arriving and departing runway 27. Visual. Far north. And local runway 27 approach in use. Joshua approach 126.1. Towers 18.3. You can also do it like this. So let me uh, just put in a different frequency. So you can go to the. Um, Flight plan, San Diego, waypoint info, um, frequencies, and then I want tower, and you click tower and it will put it in there for you, which is kind of cool. Looks like we got four minutes. Glad I uh, stayed up here. 
usually I do this at 9,500, but I had a pretty good wall of clouds back there at that altitude. Temps are all good. Don't need the oxygen. Have plenty of oxygen though. Still running off auxiliary fuel. We have to switch to the main tanks for landing. So we're going to be, we'll be diving down to 3,500 when we're getting close. That's uh, 110.9er. Transfer that out. Let's go to vertical track. Uh, there's a vertical track, so we'll go ahead and start her down at 12, 1200 feet per minute. Turn on our lights. You don't have to let ATC know you're descending when you're VFR. You can be at any altitude you want. Well, within the rules. So we're heading eastbound, eastward. Um, so that means you have to travel at odd numbers. So we were at 7,500 plus 500 for VFR. So VFR is odd plus 500. If I was going the other way, it would be even. Like, okay, departure, November like 8,000 plus 500. Passing at 2,100 for 5,000. Perfect, 625 Juliet, no cup departure in our contact. Uh, the Palomar altimeter, 2 or 87. 987. And our parking is right here, which is signature also. Actually, we'll exit C5, C4, C4 probably. I don't know, one of those. Do 275 for the course. back on the regular tanks.
Delta Denver 6125 Juliet Information Hotel Current and Palomar, do you have an approach request or is the visual approach fine with you? Uh, 6125 Juliet, yeah, I have the weather and uh, request the ILS 24 at Palomar, full stop. Number 6125 Juliet, sliding 360, maintain 4,000 vectors for the ILS. 360, 4,000 vectors for the ILS. Right, Juliet. All right, we're just waiting for a um, Bravo clearance. They usually give it to me without having to ask for it. But we're underneath the Bravo shelf right now. That starts at 65, and there's a split Bravo coming up that... So there's a VFR flyway between 32 and 48, so that's why I'm holding 35. Once I pass through that, then uh, we'll dip down to, I guess, 3,000 to clear those deltas that are in the area. Because one of the deltas is 29. So I actually got to have the Bravo clearance before I can go below 3,000. First, need to get across this little. Uh, if I can show you here. This is the the split shelf. Go ahead and make a departure from here. Five three two six two. Good afternoon. One thousand seven hundred climbing. Four thousand out of Camarillo. Remember, 53262, climb bigger departure, radar contact, climb and maintain 8,000. 8,000. Atus again. Visibility one zero. Few clouds at one thousand. Few clouds at four thousand. Temperature two six. Dew point one niner. Altimeter two nine or eight niner. Arriving and departing runway two seven. Visual R NOV and localizer runway two seven approach and use. VFR departures contact clearance delivery. Rise on course heading altitude and if flight following is requested, read back all runway assignments and hold short inductions. Advise on initial contact you have information, Juliet. So can approach on one two eight point one four seven four Mike. Number one three nine nine contact Lindbergh Tower one on eight point three. Um, over to uh, Lindbergh Tower, 118.3. Do I get Bravo clearance from the tower, or should I ask you first, 139? You'll get the Bravo clearance from the tower. Good copy, thank you. Tom. Um, 0 X-ray Papa Mojave. Mojave Grand, Section 750 X-ray Papa I apologize, the simulator crashed there for a second. Am I still good to go off that last round, or the last clearance? Yeah, that's fine. We can keep your plan valid. Got that. Thank you. 750 extra call. Lindbergh Tower. Yeah, Lindbergh Tower. Twin Cessna 1399 VFR 3500. Just north of the field. Request Bravo clearance for full stop runway 27, Carver Juliet. 1399 area, Lindbergh Tower. Traffic 6 o'clock. Same altitude, same direction. Type unknown. Looking for traffic, 1399. Or 3999, Roger, I advise you start descending. He's about half a mile and closing. Cleared into the Bravo, and a right downwind runway 27. Descending now, cleared in the Bravo, enter right downwind for 27, 1399, thanks. See anyone? Oxnard Tower, Skyhawk 172 Yankee Alpha is midfield runway 25. 172 Yankee Alpha, runway 25, clear to land. Say again to Yankee Alpha. 
I'm sorry, 172 Yankee Alpha, runway 25, clear for the option. Clear for the option, runway 25 to Yankee Alpha. I never saw the guy, but... Number 3999, no factor. Copy, 1399, thank you. I never saw him. Mixture is rich. There, 140 knots. We'll add a little bit of flaps in here. Juliet on the ILS 24. Number 16, Mr. Correction, number 6125 Juliet, Palm Island Tower, runway 24, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 24, six, uh, 25 Juliet. Number 13999, runway 27, clear to land, runway 25011. Runway 27, clear to land, twin system 1399. Gear down, yell damper off. Uh, John Wang, Paris Delivery, this is Cessna 345, Juliet Alpha. We're going to be attempting the I-4 and need a destination. Number 4, Juliet Alpha, correction number 5, Juliet Alpha, San Bernardino, Sierra, Bravo, Delta. Five G to put this here, Bravo Delta. I'll be back on this frequency after I set this up. Thank you, sir. Uber shot a smidge. That's all right. Localizers don't show up with this for some reason. Only ILS ILSs do work, but localizers don't. Alpha, pay attention. Uh, taxi back for close traffic to Yankee Alpha. Number two, Yankee Alpha, runway 25, taxi via Foxtrot Alpha, this frequency. Runway 25, self of Foxtrot Alpha, remain this frequency to Yankee Alpha. Number 3999, receive parking. Signature 1399. Number 3999, Charlie Hotel to the ramp, monitor ground 123.9er. Charlie Hotel to the ramp and ground 123.9er, 1399. Mojave, ground, citation 750, x probably ready for taxi. Number 
Mojave Grand, are you able runway 26 or do you need 3 VR? I'm pretty heavy, I'd prefer 0. Or 750 X-ray Papa, runway 30, taxi via Charlie Alpha. Charlie Alpha, 30, 750 X-ray Papa. Charlie Hotel. I hope you guys liked this flight. It was a little bit different than my normal uh, IFR stuff. I do make this flight back and forth between these two airports uh, quite often. It's a nice little scenic uh, FS Economy flight for me with this plane. Usually I do it when there's uh, not so many clouds, but I didn't bother to brief the weather before I decided to do this flight. But if it was any worse, I just would have done an IFR, which would have been a little bit longer, but maybe only 15 minutes longer to do an IFR. VFR, you can just go straight from point A to point B. But if you like this material, uh, please hit that thumbs up, like, subscribe, all that fancy stuff. Helps get our videos out there. November 874 Mike is at 2500 inbound from Woodstock. Mary Sun, 4 Mike, John Wayne Tower, overfly the Huntington Beach Pier, then join the right hand wind runway 20 right, report midfield. We'll overflow uh, Huntington Beach, then we'll join the right downwind and we'll report downfield for runway 26R. 74 Mike. Join the right hand wind runway 20 right, report midfield for 74 Mike. out the replay. Let me first make sure as if this economy took. Sometimes the replay can um, mess up and crash the sim and you got to make sure that if economy took the flight first otherwise the whole flight would have been for nothing but looks good uh, make sure we're not online go to replay mode this plane does not like replay sometimes so So you started to stutter a little bit there.
pretty cool. This is all freeware. This whole airport is free. It's very well done. Includes all the military stuff too. I mean, this is where they made um, a large amount of the Top Gun movies, right here, right over there at uh, the Naval Air Station. It's pretty cool. Sometimes I do some cargo flights in and out of here. These are all cargo bays. Of course, the terminals. Very nice airport. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you next next uh, recording. And also, you can check out my Twitch account. Uh, should be linked at the top of my YouTube channel. You can click on that and hit the follow button. That's free to do so. And you'll be alerted to when I do go live. I go live randomly. Sometimes during the day, sometimes in the evenings. I just I don't really have a set schedule. So if anybody ever has any questions that they want to ask live, uh, feel free to do so or leave a comment in the uh, uh, YouTube comment section. So see you all later. Chase out.